Okay, hello guys. This time I'm showing you how to make a fusion reactor. If you watched my earlier video, I made a fission reactor, which is quite complicated and radioactive. This time I'm showing you a fusion reactor, which is even more complicated, but it's not radioactive and it's much, much more powerful. So, let's start off with the things you need. Okay, you'll need your general block, a fusion reactor, water, electromagnets, electromagnetic glass, levers, a normal, some normal pistons, some redstone, a couple of redstone pieces, you'll need a bit of deuterium, I'll show you how to make that later, uh, and you'll need some wires, and you'll need some battery boxes. Okay, let's get started. Now, this is actually quite big, so I'm going to start away from there. Now, you'll need to go three or four blocks up, however much you want. I'll go four, actually. And place your deuterium, oh, uh, not your deuterium, your fusion reactor there. Now, you'll need to surround it with um, electromagnets, like this. Okay, now, you'll need to do another layer in front like this, leaving one gap behind it. So this small gap here is where plasma is going to flow. That will heat up the water which will uh, make the turbines turn. Okay, uh, we're almost done. And there. Now to prevent, the, to prevent the plasma from flowing out and causing a massive fire, you'll need to place this electromagnetic glass around this side. You'll also need to do it on the other side. So we keep placing it around. Sorry about all the mobs. There's lots of slimes and super flat worlds. Uh, okay, and done that side. Now you need to do the same thing on this side. Like this. And Almost done. Very close. And we're done. Okay. Now we've done that part, you'll need to start to use some your general block. You need to get your general block. And you need to place two out. Wait, let's make it daytime so it's a bit brighter. You need to go two out on all the sides. Whoops, like this. Should be quite quick for you. For some reason, I'm lagging a bit. Uh, you don't have to use blast proof walling. As I said in the other video, I only use it because it's explosive proof and nuke proof and, well, a lot of things. It's very useful. Really useful stuff. Oops. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's right. It's really useful stuff, so, yeah, that's why I use it. Okay, now we're here. Now you need to place some pistons. Here, here. Well, around the side, basically. Not the last two blocks. So just follow as I do. Like that. Leaving two blocks to the side, because that's where we're going to block off the water flow. You'll understand once we get to the end. Okay, now we've done that. Now you take your, um, well, yep, yeah, like that, do that, uh, just to balance it out a bit. So just take your balling or whatever you're using and place it like so. This is how we're going to connect the redstone to activate all the, um, all the pistons. Oops, what have I done here? Um, let's see, oh yes, okay, um, this is quite a complicated part, uh, I don't understand myself how to do this sometimes, okay, sort of, um, nope, there we go, okay, now I've done that part, uh, you'll need to cover the sides, like this, 
put one more layer on top. This is where the redstone is going to flow to activate the pistons on and off. Okay. Almost done. And I forgot to mention, but to run um, to run fusion reactors is much cheaper than running normal stuff. Okay, now it's time to add our reactor turbines. Okay, oops, I forgot to add this part. I'm supposed to add that as well, on top of this electromagnet. And, yeah, just get rid of that. We don't need that. Sorry about that, guys. Bit of a delay. And done. Okay. Now we just put our um, reactor turbines down, which I forgot to mention again. So just grab your reactor turbines. You'll need quite a few for this. Um, we'll see once we get to it. Okay, what do we don't need? We don't need pistons anymore. And you need to place a set of five on each side. So that's 20 reactor turbines you need to place all the way around. And once we place these, we can actually add the water. Water flow. Okay, now we just add the water. Place it along the side here. Okay. Almost ready. So as you can see, the electromagnets sort of carry the heat from the plasma. And they heat up the water. And then the turbines will take the... Well, will take... Will turn from the steam coming up. Let's see, how's this doing? Okay, that's fine. Now we'll need our uh, wires. You could use tin or copper, but I'm going to use superconductors because these are very efficient. Very expensive, but very efficient. So now you need to link up everything. Uh, I wouldn't use that because that's where our redstone is going to flow. So hook them up from the inside, like this. And we'll almost be ready to start. Okay, now we've hooked that up, you'll need to place redstone around this. All the way around. The redstone won't actually go the whole way around because the pulse isn't strong enough. So if we just place it like that, disconnect it there. Now, this is where you'll need uh, repeaters. So just place a re few repeaters along the way to keep the strength good. Like this. Now you'll place a lever there, let's check if it works. Yep, pistons are activated, that's fine. Now if we turn off the pistons, now we need to connect this to a battery box of some kind. So take a long lead. You might want an advanced battery box because it's going to store a bit more. And some uh, battery upgrades. They're very expensive but they come in very useful when you've got a fusion reactor. And you'll probably need it because if you can afford a fusion reactor you can definitely afford this. Whoops. Okay so as I said last episode red is input and black is output. And now we just need to insert our deuterium. Now to make deuterium you have to use a deuterium extractor. Now to use the deuterium extractor you'll need power. I'm using an infinite battery for this example place some water in and then we'll start extracting that water and it will turn into deuterium like this. Now I've got a whole stack here for this demonstration but it's just turning it around, turning it into deuterium. Now I've got a whole stack, this can take quite a few stacks of deuterium if you want. So if I place this deuterium in, here it goes 
and soon you'll be able to see. Oh, I forgot one thing actually. That's what I forgot. Um, you actually need to power your fusion reactor before it starts. So now we've given it deuterium, that's fine. You need to connect it to a power source. So if I power my fusion reactor on my survival world with a fission reactor. And that's sort of the problem. Because you have to have an existing power source to power your fusion reactor. You can't just make a fusion reactor there. Okay, as you can see, there's plasma flowing around. That nether portal stuff. Plasma flowing all around. Our turbines are starting up. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's check on our battery box. There we go, it's filling up really fast, really fast. Enough to run a missile silo constantly. Okay, so that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. And look out for more Vault uh, help series. Goodbye.